abandoned planes. Pretty cool graffiti on this plane. Making it look like a shark. So there's actually a couple of planes here to check out. This is the first one. Here we have a Precival Sea Prince T1. Now, I'm no expert on planes, guys, but this is just from the little bit of research and history I have done. So, um, yeah, this was a great explore. First for me for planes, and I definitely want to do more. Now, this actually sits on the entrance to the airfield, so it makes for a very easy explore. Although there was a car boot going on next to us when we were exploring this, so other people were attracted to it. But nevertheless, um, I hope you do like this video. I sure did. And, yeah, let's get on with it, guys. You can actually get in this one. There's still some seats and things in it as well. <laughs> we will go to the, uh, the front. There's not really much left in here to be fair though guys. Still got the gears. Is it the gears? No. There's still a lot of wiring and stuff in here though. Like the fuse box behind there. It's the first time I've done an abandoned plane. Uh, it feels like the top hatch. For like storage and or something maybe. Mm. These actually were. There's like two of them on either side. This was locked by the shell. Let's see. So I do think it's amazing. Is that where they put like bombs? Uh, yeah, how many? Sort of so there's so a trap door in there. Guys, that obviously opens up as well. Crazy. So yeah, there's two of them. So this up on the uh, the roof here, guys. See all these pulleys and the wires. Uh, maybe coordinating everything. There's all the wires. The fuse box there, guys. The Sea Prince, this plane, was actually used for lightweight transport and dates back to early post-war periods. Very interesting find this, and this was like I say, one of three that we explore on this video. So we're at the, uh, the second plane, now then guys, check out this. So here we have an Avro Shackleton, and it was used by the Royal Air Force, and it was developed by Avro from the Avro Lincoln bomber, which itself has been development on the famous wartime Avril Lancaster bomber. You can probably see that guys, there's a car boot going on outside. <laughs> Check this out guys, I'm right at the back of the plane here. It's like a little window. Look at all that flies in there. Ooh, I need to get out of this. So guys, there's also these like little chop doors. Pretty cool. They open to windows. So, there's the uh, fire exit door there, guys. I if it opens. Yeah. Illuminating. 
lots of flowers. Crazy. This is where I used to keep flowers. Down here. Use M K. God knows what that is. I'm guessing this is the gunnery. Open windows. Yeah, this is definitely the gunnery. There's the air pressure, guys. I tell you what, they are quite crampy at these place. It's a bit cobwebby in here. It's a good job I'm not too bothered about spiders. Smell in here though, guys. I can't stand it too long. This would have been the old gunnery. Sick. See that side? Windows are a bit misty. A bit better out of that one. Wow. So this plane was purchased from the MOD in 1988 and it was to become part of the Stratford collection. Now known as the WR-985, it was never actually fully reassembled and therefore just left to the elements where it's been gently decomposing ever since. Now the future is bleak as I am uncertain about the plane's future, I am certain that the surrounding airfield that it currently sits on is due to be development for now thousands of houses. So hopefully these are maybe maintained or taken somewhere maybe in a way but I'm not too sure but uh, it'd be sad to see if they are actually scrapped down and salvaged or anything you know other as it was really great to explore these places and hopefully it is first of many of more abandoned planes that I may find here guys. This place, guys. Whoa. Really happy I got this. Another little plane next to this one, so I think I'm going to go and check out that one now. Oh, again, I think it's these windows. It's hot in here. Let's get out. The size of these bits at the end of the wings. Huge. Underneath the wing gear, guys, of the big plane. And finally guys, here we have a Gloucester Meteor 2.7. Now I couldn't actually get in this plane and it was quite overgrown on the outside, but nevertheless still quite magnificent. It was a smaller plane, um, but yeah, another RAF plane this and fighter plane. But yeah, really good explore this. Something again, very different. We've come to the end of the video now here guys. So I hope you did enjoy. As always, do remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Keep exploring. guys i think we're about done on this one really cool place though you have to watch these holes <laughs> yeah yeah back down the way we got up yeah really cool got have done this go and check out that little plane and i think we're moving on to the uh the next location